Hi, good afternoon to everybody. Thanks for joining us today. I hope all of you are doing good. Thank you for joining us today and welcome to the webinar on higher power, lower LCOE, impact of larger size modules on solar projects. I am Priya Sanjay, Managing Director of Mercom India. So we have uh, four distinguished speakers today. Monsoon Wong, the Senior Product and Technology Expert at JA Solar, a solar module supplier. Mr. S.S. Mishra, the General Manager Renewables at NTPC, a government-owned energy conglomerate focusing on solar project development. Sarvesh Kumar, the Head Supply Chain Management at Azure Power, an independent power producer, developer, and an auto operator of utility and commercial sales solar projects. And Bimal Jindal, Head Supply Chain Management at SoftBank Energy, a global energy company committed to renewables, owning and operating large scale solar and wind projects in India and globally. So, uh, some quick housekeeping items before we start the presentation. You can use the questions panel on your toolbar to type in questions at any time during the today's presentation. Uh, we'll answer relevant question at the end of the webinar. We're all also recording the webinar and we'll send out a link to all the registrants at the end of the webinar. So to begin with, let us take a look at the solar sector in India. So the pandemic has had a huge negative impact on the installations in uh, 2020. We, we, we expect the installations to be around three gigawatt this year. That is calendar year 2020. But that also means that 2021 and 2022 are going to be historic years for solar installations in India. We forecast installations to hover around three gigawatt and uh, sorry, to hover about uh, 13 gigawatt in 2021 and about 14 gigawatt in 2022. So that's a large number. And uh, also the reason why this session is so important. Speaking of just large scale solar projects, there are about 32.6 gigawatt of uh, large scale solar projects in operation right now in India. India also has a strong project pipeline. As of September 30th, 2020, we have about 45 gigawatt of projects in the pipeline. That is, these are projects either under the pre-construction or under development stage. Of the, uh, these pre-construction projects are about 26 gigawatt and uh, under development projects are about 19 gigawatt. Again, we have another 34.5 gigawatt or 36 gig 35 gigawatt of tendered projects that are waiting to be auctioned. So uh, this, is a, this shows how big the market is. And uh, going into the next slide, we see a major share of project cost still goes to solar modules, which is why the quality and performance of these modules throughout the life cycle of the project are very crucial. The efficiency of modules strongly affects the quality and return on investment on the solar assets. And that said, it is also extremely important to keep up with the latest technologies. And uh, I think this is a huge time for uh, you know, new technologies that are coming in. And uh, the trends uh, uh, show that there are a lot more coming in uh, existing um, you know, technologies, whether it is poly, perg, bifacial, and also an, a new kind of new age modules that are coming in. And uh, to ensure you are buying the best products to uh, maximize your project ROI, knowing these technologies is very important. Today, our speakers will address the importance and impact of uh, quality, new technologies, and their acceptance in the Indian markets. So all the three developers uh, that we have right now are one of the largest in terms of pipeline as well as projects that they have already built. So uh, with that, I will hand over the presentation to Monsoon, who will talk about the new module technologies entering the market and also their role in the LCOE and REO ROI of the projects, that is the return on investment of the projects. So uh, Monsoon, over to you. Hi, I'm here. My name is Monsoon from J Solar. Okay, let's start. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Can you see the screen? Yes. 
Yes. You can switch off your video PPT? so we can. Yes, yes, we can see your PPT. Yes. Okay. It's okay now. Yeah. Yeah. You can make it full okay. screen mode. Yeah. This is perfect. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So thanks, Priya. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guest. This is Monsoon Wang from J Solar. So today I would like to introduce about uh, J Solar's new product, which is based by the 182 millimeter, millimeter mono wafer, which we call Deep Blue 3.0. Uh, I will introduce the product and show the value of this product to LCOE. So my topic is today is J Solar's Deep Blue 3.0 by 182 millimeter wafer, best solution for LCOE. First, my top presentation consists of three parts. The first is, uh, first is about the design idea of the Deep Blue 3.0. The second is the technical highlight of the product. Finally, we do some value analysis of this product. So first, let's look at uh, the, you know, the design idea. This, the first picture shows, picture shows the uh, module power trend during the past 10 years. We can see that the power of the module is increasing very fast in the past 10 years. Uh, in the year 2009, the peak power of the 72 sales module is less than 300 watts, it's about 290. But until now, you know, the higher power is already exceed 500 watts, some even at, some even about 600 watts. So how to approach the high power? Mainly there are three uh, ways to approach the high power. One is about the cell efficiency. We can see that during the past 10 years, the cell efficiency is increasing very fast. Actually in the year 2009, the mass production mono sales efficiency is about 17%, so now it's about 22.8%. So especially the mass production of PERC four to five years ago has greatly enhanced the efficiency of the sales. The second way is the technology improvement of the module encapsulation, including many, many issues is included, in, such as coating glass, the application of coating glasses, thicker and the softer ribbons, the high transmittance EVA, and the half-cut cell technology, also the multi-bus bar technology, which we call MBB. Also, you can some module encapsulation technology with higher density, such as single module, the paving technology, and some high density technology. The third is the, about the wafer size. The wafer size is also increasing very rapidly, especially during the past two years. Uh, it's, it's changing from 156.75 to 166 millimeter, then to then the new big wafer, 210 millimeter wafer emerged. And in this year, also the 182 millimeter wafers emerged. So J Solar choose the 182 millimeter wafers for the next generation new product. So why we use a big wafer for big module? So you can see from this picture, with a big module, we get lower build as cost from the on the system side. You can see from the picture that with the when the module size get bigger, the variable BOS cost get lower. But you can see when the cell if when the efficiency of the module are almost the same, the bigger module with higher power output can reduce the BOS cost. You can see from the data it's reducing uh, very fast. But however you can also see from this picture when the module becomes bigger and bigger, even bigger enough, the trend the trend of the becomes slower or even disappeared. It means that that's a limitation of the module size. It should be a limitation. 
you cannot make the module bigger and bigger without limit limitation. So let's also look at the relationship between the BOS cost and the module efficiency. You can see that the efficiency contributes a lot to the reduction of the BOS cost, even more in the size. So when the module size gets bigger in, enough, so the next for the next step is still more important to increase the efficiency. So another question is that is the, for the module is the larger the better. So we think that the, the modules get larger is better for the LC BOS cost drop, but when the module gets too larger, there's some risk on the system side from the system side. The one risk is a mechanical load risk. As we all know, the larger the module is, the greater deformance deformation of the module during the mechanical load test and is easier to get failure. Also, when the module gets gets too big, it's difficult for it's get difficulty in the transportation and installation side. Also, it's too the module when the module gets too big, it gets too heavy for the transportation and the installation. Also, for the to the module is too big, it's uh, still a challenge for the rack bearing ability, especially for the tracking tracking racks. So, which means that larger brings risk. Meanwhile, no more evidence BOS saving cost saving on the system side, as we mentioned before. So, we think the next gener the next step, if you merely improve, improve the power through bigger panel will be wet, will be less and less valuable. So another topic is about the you know electric electricity, electric volt parameter for the module is voltage and current. We all know the relationship of voltage and current. The power module power equals voltage times current. So it means when you get higher power, you will get higher voltage or higher current. So if the voltage drops, it means the current will be increased significantly. So from the system side, when if the voltage of the module is lower, the string capacity gets big, get, you, you will get higher string capacity and then makes the system cost lower. That's a benefit to the for the system side. But from on the other hand, if the what if the current of the module is too high, you will face some risks on the system side. Also, for the module itself, so you have some reliability risks. So we make some analysis of the of the high large current module. First, if the current gets larger, so the CTM loss of the module. CTM means the CO2 module loss during the module encapsulation. The CTM loss will be higher, which means that you will get the module manufacturing cost will be higher. So also, the, if the current is higher, so it results in the resistance loss in the, in the circuit. So if the more, more during the module operation temperature is still work is higher, which means the, the energy yield performance will get lower. You'll get some you'll you get the you'll get some sacrifice on the energy yield. Also, the two for the two module with larger current, it faces the risk of the you know junction box and the dire of the module, so we have to think it seriously. So there's some field test data from J Solar that shows in sunny days, if the module current is too high, about 18 ampere higher, so that working temperature is much is still higher. 
you can see that working temperature is about six centigrade higher than the model with a working current of, of three thirteen ampere. So which means six centigrade temperature higher, which means the power generation loss will be low, will be higher than two percent, which means the LCOE drop, LCOE increased more than two percent. That means that the BOS saving, the, the BOS saving cannot cover the increase in LCOE. So we should not only pursue low voltage and high current, but we should think about the whole system. So which I means not only BOS, but LCOE should be focused more. So that's the logic of the deep blue 3.0 by 182 millimeter wafer. The size of the wafer is determined by the whole industry chain, including production, installation, transportation, and PV system. Also, the voltage and current relationship is calculated from the system side. So the second part is the technical highlights of this new product. I'll get it quicker. So we use the 182 millimeter wafer, and we half cut cell technology, and we have 66 cells, 72 and 78 cell module. So we consider from the whole manufacturing and the system side, and we choose the right materials for the reliability of this new product. So the main highlight of this product is first is the plasium cell, the upgrade perk cell technology, and the upgrade size, and with the gallium doped wafer, and the new bar, multi bus bar technology and half cut technology, which brings higher reliability in the system side. Let's look at the per upgraded perk cell technology, which we call Persium from J Solar. This technology brings better long wave spectral response and lower irritance property and better temperature coefficient, which gets better energy yield performance. Also, we use uh, M10, which 182 millimeter gallium doped wafer. So the gallium doped wafer can solve the LID phenomena very well. So JSL is the first PV company applies J doped gallium doped wafer on all the high efficiency cells in the industry. So by the gallium doped cells technology, we can get lower degradation. So we can we can you know, we have a work product warranty. The power loss in the first year is lower than 2%. Also, we have the line degradation for the 22 years for the, you know, single glasses module. And for double glasses module, we have 30 years of product warranty. The degradation rate is also lower. So it's about 0.55%. And for the double glass is 0.5%. Four five percent per year. Also, we use the eleven bus bar pattern. It's it's quite good for the cell and efficiency and the module power output, and will get lower resistance loss, which brings higher energy yield performance to the module. So you can see we also applied the half cut half cut technology, which can bring higher power output and the lower working temperature, lower hotspot temperature, and also lower NOCT. Also by the half cut technology, you can you get better energy yield performance, especially when the when the module is partly shaded, shading, shaded, you can get higher power output compared with the you know full cell technology. So we use a half cell hard cell technology. So that's uh you know the parameter of the Deep Blue 3.0. So for the utility project, we mainly we have two kinds of product 72 cell and 78 cells module with the working temperature is about minus 0 0.35 percent per centigrade. And we have a very excellent low light response. And the module size is also reasonable. It's big, but it's reasonable for the system side. And for the 
product the module weight is less than 30 kilogram we think 30 kilogram is a better better lock for bottleneck for the installation side when the module gets too heavier heavier it's very difficult for the installation side for the workers it will be very hard to installation the module well so the as for the power distribution you can see that for the 72 sales module so we get the mainstream power output is a uh, for 540 watt so you know we, we are confidence in the next year we can get five to ten watts higher with the with with the improvement of the technology so also for the capacity uh, till now we have about 10 gigawatt capacity per year I think in the end of next year for this new product, we have 20 gigawatt capacity. It will be our main product for the next year. So finally, let's take a very brief look at the value analysis of this project, this new product. So this is the BOS on the tracking system. You can see we have two data from manufacturer A and manufacturer B. They are all the top five tracking record manufacturer. For the manufacturer A, either in 1P or 2P solution, you can see that the deep blue 3.0, either 78 sales or 72 sales have the best BOS cost. You know, the 210 millimeter wafer module, the, the, you have higher cost on the tracking system. So it's very similar for the manufacturer B. This shows that together with the tracking system, this uh, deep loop 3.0 have a very low BOS cost. So also we, some, we do some project analyze. You can see we choose, choose the project on Dubai. We, you know, we then made some demo on the PV system. You can see it will make the BOS cost much lower on the rack use inverter and the construction cables LAN. Yeah, yes. So you can see for the LCOE compared with the other product, the steep blue 3.0 for 540 gets a, you know, you get a lower, gets the highest LCOE reduction. Also, Finally, this data also shows the detail of the BOS saving energy yield improvement and the LCOE uh, drop, you can see. So that's, it shows that the Deep Group 3.0 is a product with the best LCOE performance. It's, uh, no, it's the best product for the utility scale application. It's best product for the LCOE, okay? That's my, all my presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, um, Monsoon. So uh, it's interesting to see the new technologies coming in. Earlier, we were uh, you know, uh, using the polycrystalline for a long time, right? So uh, now this is uh, the new technology that is coming in and uh, very interesting for that matter. So, um, you know, ultimately, um, uh, the return on investment on the lower LCO that you were talking about, the final decision makers yeah. will be the project developers, right? So they are the ultimate decision makers. So let me uh, begin with asking them, uh, starting with Mr. Um, you know, SS Mishra from NTPC who has joined us. NTPC is one of, uh, you know, uh, the pro uh, developers with the largest pipeline, you know, uh, one of the biggest uh, developers right now. So you must also be uh, speaking to a lot of uh, suppliers uh, right now. So what are some of the trends that you see and which do you think is a new uh, technology other than polycrystalline that you are considering right now uh, at NTPC? Yeah. So as um, you know, okay, please. Yeah. As far as technology is concerned, uh, well said, uh, <laughs> Mr. Monsoon, he has told, no doubt, uh, Mono Park has already started uh, and it is basically taking their bigger pie. 
particularly yeah. monopark with half or maybe some technology solution provider thinking of triple cut also a very pertinent yeah. point uh, what he has raised it was in my mind i was about to ask but he has already told this it was just in my mind the issues of higher voltage uh, could be because of maybe transportation due to high large size very large size very bulkier maybe dimensional point of view also so there are some practical limitation as far as uh, practical solutions and practical limitations and the damages what it is uh, going to have so very pertinently he has brought out one point i appreciate uh, his viewpoint maybe other manufacturer have some other viewpoint also but one of the uh, as a developer or as a utility what what was in my uh, mind he has uh, addressed that that point just to support this data i just uh, simple word i will say we we have seen uh, 158.75 size and all predominantly catching the market today if you see the data itself no no more analysis and all data itself your own market data and all the total monopark wafer itself has share is 70 75% and more maybe more also and the, the, the uh, multi the, the wafer itself uh, going some 25% or maybe 30% range so as far as the technology per se is concerned that is uh, uh, fine the uh, technology then customization manufacture manufacture uh, point of view that's a very key point uh, that uh, between utility manufacturer developer confidence building technology only technology is not a solution technology customized with the utility perspective and point of view and all the more is lco if you know uh, solar market is highly cost sensitive every year esteemed <laughs> speaker than everybody knows it's a total uh, cost sensitivity is so high but cost sensitivity i uh, uh, on behalf of ndpc i am saying cost is only a one part some some point people do try to uh, mistake some point some some of the developer very uh, very long and not a long term thinker but we believe in long term thinking and lcoe has to be seen there is no doubt today uh, i don't know as i was just uh, saying this is the time and opportunity that uh, all these uh, technology solution provider and uh, um, uh, high high end technology you can say or even a, you can say better lcoe solutions i think they can even uh, damage the other markets and capture every market just because you yourself is uh, uh, investing slightly take a little lower percentage of technology share and because of you are saving per module you are saving everything you are saving all bs of the module itself you one thing is the bs of the project is a one part that is fine but as a module manufacturer after investing lot of analysis and all you are also saving lot of bs of the module itself like glass frame everything you increase the sizes and you you save a lot so the total if we see the total saving if if we add a plus b no there is no doubt today sometimes uh, i don't know others also may be doing some analysis because of the cost sensitive market other also may be do some analysis but when when we do some analysis with some figures uh, even with uh, lco figures means the pan file of modules and all in pvcs and seeing the what is the energy gain versus the cost differential and all sometime we think that it is just balanced out not a giving a while while it is very important i am just giving a message the edge the it, it should be other way the balance the the advantage should be clearly defined because this, this much of advantage i am able to get it so the the, the costing part also this all technology provider you are one of the leader uh, in that so that also you offer to developer uh, uh, say not say not that on just a balancing cost means that increase in module cost versus lcoe and the say say lower sizes or say lower uh, you can say multi or even say uh, low end park you are low end park also you can say <laughs> that also the cost part versus the energy gain versus your cost should be in such a manner that it should be clearly defined and clearly i should not have any hesitation at all i i should be able to simply decide and go away okay this is the clear advantage and we can go through 
So that is also just a message from uh, my side. De definitely, you have balanced technology. Good. Carry on. This is my view. Thank you. I get your point. So uh, you mean to say that uh, the uh, the benefit of uh, the new technology is um, not it is matching the cost, but it has to be, you know, a clear exactly. winner. The cost should be yes, a clear yes. winner. So uh, you know uh, the uh, the decision making is very easy. But I think uh, my point is probably this will happen one when, once there is large scale deployment. You know, once there is more, uh, you know, uh, demand, that price is also going to match. But I, I will leave it up to you. We have just analysts. So, Sarvesh, um, you know, um, this is for you. Azure has been one of the pure play uh, solar, uh, you know, uh, project developers and, you know, the one of the uh, few pure play uh, solar companies in the sector. So, um, uh, given your vast experience, because you have been here since the inception of uh, the National Solar Mission, so what are some of the trends you see in the module technologies and uh, which is one of the trend or technology that you think is more significant than the others? Yeah, good afternoon. So yeah. basically, yeah. you know, if when we have started, we have started the module, what peak was in say 200, some 210, 220, and then that was polycrystalline. You know, that time also there was an option of monocrystalline, but that was a uh, there was a significant cost difference. So people prefer uh, the monocrystalline, a polycrystalline, and a thin film option was also available. Today also thin film option is available, but uh, more or less most dominantly we we use uh, poly uh, polycrystalline modules going forward. Then if it, as efficiency increased, the uh, the watt peak per module increased. There was increase in the number of cells also and later on uh, since last 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 year we were using only uh, uh, polycrystalline modules now uh, once this monoper ca came and this when we found that the the basically we uh, we think from the perspective of lsoe when we found that uh, lsoe is basically giving me is balancing out as mr told that if it is it is it will become a very easy to take a call for a developer in case we see a significant advantage moving for from older technology to newer technology but uh, when we are doing a calculation at our end um, considering that all the uh, that the benefit for i am getting with the higher what peak modules might be some reduction in the vus cost and then uh, there might be some reduction in efficiency gain like uh, uh, temperature coefficient and other and that 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 takes time but over, over, overall, when we realize that the, we are getting up a, a slightly higher than uh, LCE cost, what we will have with polycrystalline, we move. We decided to move on with monocrystalline, and those kind of decision we take considering the what what is the ultimately everything comes down to on the LCOE, and uh, accordingly we take a call on on the technology front. And now, if if you see we we have we are moving ahead from the poly to mono, and uh, in fact. Uh, after some time, you will not find polycrystalline. The JA and other developer uh, module manufacturers are also starting their software polycrystalline. So uh, once technology moves from this, uh, there are also a number of uh, changes happen in a module like a number of bus bars, five bus bars, six. Now it's nine up to nine bus bars. So and uh, uh, like uh, earlier it was full cell module, now it's half cell module. Paper size is also changed. So these changes are happening and we keep, keep track of the market and we try to analyze what will be the impact. Like uh, uh, we, we were evaluating options of some higher what peak modules, which we uh, right now we don't have uh, due to BIS and other constraints. Once the BIS is there, we can consider. But, you know, second, from that perspective, we have to see if, if the module sizes are increasing only because of increase in buffer sizes, then uh, there will be challenges on execution part also. Because there is some ideal size of the module during execution. Because if you are um, putting your project on portrait or landscape, you cannot put three or th more than two to three uh, uh, modules in portrait once the uh, the length is increased significantly. So those aspects also we see wh while we decide on the per particular technology. Those are the aspects. And anyway, uh, since the solar market has started, it has changed significantly. And in last couple of years, it's changed more significantly. People are move, moving from now, uh, we are seeing bifacial. 
by facial may, may uh, again also we have to analyze what will be the albedo at the particular site and uh, what gains we will get and we analyze if in case there there is a delta p what we are paying for the from moving from mono to buy and if i'm able to get the kind of generation if it is being sets getting set off from the energy yield we are okay with it but but as mr mr told that it should be clear cut from the uh, developers for, uh, from the suppliers point of that you will get these benefits once you are using these terms. that will be a bit easy for a developer to take a call on that that's that's not said what i can say on these fronts yeah you 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 have a point i'll i'll come to a few points that you made later also so uh, bimal uh, softbank energy has been uh, you know uh, has the advantage of uh, being a global player and uh, in many more energy markets than just solar right so what are some of the trends that you are seeing in the module technologies and what is any specific technology that you have taken a, you know um, inclination towards yes. thanks priya first of all uh, inviting me for this you know i heard uh, mansoor and uh, mr mishra and sarvesh uh, uh, I think uh, industry yeah. is evolving in solar. We, we look uh, at these, you know, eight to ten years down the line, but today there are a lot of changes happening. I, I remember, you know, like uh, service was telling 200 watt peak panel versus now we're talking 600. And, uh, I, I heard 800 watt peak panel also. Even uh, I think uh, uh, the, the things are changing. Uh, but again, we have different market. Like if you try India, then we have uh, Britain. Uh, US, Europe market, you know, so, so each market plays a different role. India, we do completely focus on poly because we are very cost conscious country. The balance of system cost is extremely low in our country. So that's how uh, the poly has been pushed. It's not like, you know, the, that's the only technology available. The people are driving, if you look into the Europe or US or Middle East market, because the US costs are high, people are always go with higher emission panels so years before also. It's not like uh, it's happening today. Now, uh, because the modern industry decided to switch from poly to mono, India is getting focused on mono. It's not by choice of the developer, it's by the choice of the industry the way I look into. Now, uh, I think uh, as a developer, we look into what is the best LCOE product. Uh, if, if you look into technology, there's a poly, there's a mono, and mono, uh, we have, you know, B type and N type. People are also not talking about N type because the costs are still very high. So, so B type is still, you know, bringing the gap between poly and mono, people are focusing on that. Then there's a discussion on SD. Everyone knows that, you know, the Panasonic was a pioneer and there was a lot of discussion on future, but no one was pushing. But the way technology advancement is happening, people know that uh, mono is going to have limitation, it is going to uh, reach its you know, peak in some time. So you, you cannot uh, achieve what you want to achieve, so after that you have to see the technology. There is a, again, you know, pro sky are also being spoken, right? So, so again, there has a technology challenge. I believe the uh, next couple of years is going to be very important and interesting for the solar industry. There are many technologies going to come into picture. This SDT is another dark horse which you know people are projecting, and uh, the many developers uh, are also being not in India at the moment, but yes, in other countries, especially in uh, the market where the views costs are pretty high. So, and, and as we uh, uh, Bimal, if you can come closer and uh, you know a little louder, please. Okay, sorry. So I'm saying you know yeah. so so, so uh, the model technology matters on the market also. If your balance of system costs are too low. It does not motivate uh, motivate you to take high efficiency panels. And uh, they, uh, unlike uh, you know China and many other countries, uh, even in China, I, I still remember there was a top runner program where they used to promote high efficiency panels. So there was a premium paid by the government to, to promote the technologies. In India, we don't have this kind of you know programs. Unfortunately, we are always cost conscious. We want to bring the cost to 236 or even lower. Uh, whatever number we can achieve. So, so there, there are many challenges which you know we need to see. And uh, while we, as a people, want to focus on the latest technology, we have another major roadblock uh, which I think uh, you know everyone will admit. Mr. Mishra, Sarvesh, and the module guys is BIS. The BIS has delayed for uh, many modules. 
goes due to COVID, but for other reasons. And if, if I look at, I think the government needs to support the innovation in solar technology. Right now, if I want to use the latest panel, which is the IEC in India, and we want to experiment something, we cannot do it because BIA is not there. The BIA part itself, you know, leave us uh, uh, at least three to six months behind than the industry. So, so this is another challenge which we need to look into. We as a company always focus on LCO. We are talking to all the leading uh, model manufacturers. I believe we all know the future. Right now, people are talking uh, e I I want to see end -lift. However, the bifacial is going to be the interesting uh, part. Unfortunately, because the COVID, the things has been delayed by six months or eight months. I, I believe you know people are soon going to go to bifacial because the delta between bifacial and mono get reduced. It's not getting reduced. Even the costs were previously also very low. I think Mr. Mishra pointed out it's the model manufacturers how much margin or how much profit they want to make. It. So previously, when they used to say that, you know, between mono and bifacial, I want to charge three cents. There was no rational. I used to argue, I used to understand that. Are you entering that cost? They said that you are going to make that much money. So I want to grab all the things up front. Now, the challenge is, if you look into, the developer has to recover that money in 25 years. And the model manufacturer want to recover up front. So like uh, Mr. Mishra said, you know, we need to balance out the approach. If you're going to incur the cost up front, the 25-year period is a very long span. There are a lot of challenges of curtailment, of efficient infrastructure, and then some, you know, natural calamities. So, so you don't know what is going to happen, right? So you need to keep that some buffer. Right now, I think uh, the model manufacturers are still trying to keep something in the pocket. I just trying to see what developers want to gain. They are loading that delta onto the price. It's not like the real cost. So, so my request to the model manufacturers to look into that respect because that will help them to achieve the scale sooner for the latest technologies and promote the developers to you know focus on technology rather than look into the cost part. So so that's how I look all this is going to work out. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Uh, Mr. Molson, would you want to add uh, about the BIS certification if uh, these uh, uh, new uh, technology modules that you uh, talked about the deep blue, uh, do you have the BIS uh, certification for that? Yes, the, for the BIS certification, now we are, you know, applying for it. You know, we just got, mm -hmm. you know, we got the TUV certification last month. So no, as okay. you know, for the BIS certification, it was still take us three or four months to get, you know, the procedure. Mm -hmm. You know, we have, we have checked the factory. So basically, the, okay. in the Q1 of next year, we will get the BIS certification. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And Sarvesh was also making a point about uh, the mounting of these modules itself, you know, the technical difficulties of uh, the mounting of these modules. Would you want to add to that? Yeah. So, you know, the size, the bigger size, the lower BOS cost, but the size cannot be limitless. It's our view. So if the size mm -hmm. is too big, it will, for, either for the mounting or the transportation, it will bring some, you know, trouble difficulties to the, to the, right. you know, transportation mounting to the workers, to labor. So we think we, we, so the, you know, that's the logic of the deep blue three point zero. We want to make it bigger, but we will check the limitation, which cannot be even bigger without limits. So we, we check, we, so we did some analyze and test calculation. So we think this size is reasonable for the amount for the system side, that's our so that that's why also why we do not choose a big wafer. We think the mm -hmm. even the wafer is too big, the module size is too big. It will get some trouble for the mounting. Yeah, it's not so easy for the mounting. It will it will not bring the you know the cost saving. Some uh, you know okay. on that hand it maybe get some labor cost higher or even some you know risk on the mounting side. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. So, uh, uh, so uh, Mr. Mishra, um, so what kind of uh, uh, technology mix, mix of uh, modules are you procuring right now? If I may ask. So, what is it uh, that NTPC is procuring, uh, are in, and are you adopting or thinking of adopting these new technologies in your uh, upcoming projects? 
before answering your question priya i really appreciate mr bimal point one point he has made mm -hmm. that i used to say many of our, our colleague also by my common mm -hmm. sense that all these yeah. calculations what uh, uh, i don't know about monsoon but everybody mm -hmm. shows based on not the indian bus figures a very mm -hmm. pertinent point he has made the practically here what is the here labor cost what is here the bus cost you see world market very very pertinent and practical point it's not, nothing is to be done. not not more research is to be done you you will mm -hmm. see very clear very pertinent point so the what all savings why it is coming uh, maybe for us i think you have not uh, uh, taken our class commonly that you will reply like this but mm -hmm. by default everybody has <laughs> replied in a one voice almost said like a one voice yeah you all, all are working in different uh, areas i i am a public sector guy <laughs> i am not mm -hmm. a private sector guy all but every okay. tone was slightly different so before that i just wanted to mention that all this calculation and figures and matching should be done in a indian bus concept what is the actual year cost whether it is labor whether it is year uh, local uh, bus cost epc year cost whether somebody employs epc or election agency or what all the civil agencies very very quality epc agencies are quite cheap here it's it's, it's not a great cost and that's the reason the cost has fallen down if you if you manage a good quality equipment and if you hear the epcs are available or if the erected sort of the systems are available ecosystem is quite developed but much much uh, mature so the figures what they, they should calculate it definitely is a very pertinent point he has mentioned based on that then the gap itself what is today it is seen as a just uh, say balancing part then it, it will cross the threshold and the decision making uh, we, we will not as a government sector have to prove on paper everything he, he he may not be don't have to prove on paper but i have to prove on paper in a transparent manner so for us uh, at least it will be more uh, more simplified way yeah your next question uh, your Yes, of course, sir. No doubt, we already have uh, adopted uh, uh, higher uh, what is almost 490 to 500 range. Already adopted, but of course, very pertinent. But of course, in a project where our BUS cost, because as a government sector, I don't know our other public sectors and all, and maybe uh, South Bank and everybody is taking this step. but uh, we have already taken this step that we evaluate the cost with respect to bus loadings also and the say the all other parameters like lcoe and all we gave give due weightage for that and then evaluating the cost we already adopted of course in our uh, floating solar project we are uh, implementing uh, 235 megawatt already under implementation we already adopted this uh, 4 490 500 peak and definitely one bi certification also we were facing little difficulty but we said the government also we are approached to government that this is the uh, technology this is not available in india so so even if suppose uh, i have to use this technology for india for here i am i am using the uh, for a in indian project so that's the reason also and we have uh, clarified to mnadi and they have ultimately given bi certifications also they have helped us that also so we are we are using this technology already using this technology and we are going to use extensively in uh, uh, future projects to come definitely because of the uh, price uh, advantage efficiency and the long term sustainability the temperature running temperature of the modules are very very uh, uh, pertinent today people Uh, earlier people don't know we are not talking at all what is the temperature and all people don't know but today everybody is seeing what is the lifelong uh, uh, sustainability and uh, everybody assess this requirement balancing things why half cut has gone otherwise uh, the simple chal raha tha but oh, those things have come up because people thinking in long term sustainability as a point of view so that sustainability definitely technology has a option definitely there is no doubt on that technology has a option but again i will repeat that okay lcoe is a factor we we are just judging and very transparently judging we are not uh, uh, judging like that very transparently very methodological and scientific way we are judging giving a due weightage to the uh, say module manufacturer parameters every parameters we, we give due, due weightage and if, if it is crossing we are just uh, adopt it because there are other advantages also definitely
we, we are already adopting okay okay that's interesting so sarvesh uh, what about azure uh, what kind of uh, uh, technology mix of modules that you are procuring uh, for your projects and what kind of hurdles do you see in adopting new technologies We are also considering uh, for poly, uh, we are moving from poly, but due to some supply constraints, we are taking poly also and mix of monopod, monopod B as Mr. told that we are using uh, half cell as well as full cell uh, monopod. And we are we are planning to use uh, bifacial also if, if ability is not an issue and we find that there there is a value, we'll consider that also. We are considering, but uh, of the bifacial also the challenges for basically we are facing as of now there are two three major challenges uh, being faced by us uh, due to this sudden uh, issues in china and capacity constraint in their backside integration like uh, people has gone ahead from their capacity in expansion uh, in module and cells and papers but glass glass is becoming a bottleneck nowadays Every day you see that glass and EBA prices getting is and getting increased. So, uh, so once we have, you have ability and decided to go ahead with a particular a particular module and you find that there is a capacity constraint from the raw material perspective. Those are the hurdles we as a developer we are facing. And as far as con uh, technology is concerned, certainly we are moving ahead from the poly to mono and we may change from mono to bifacial in coming years so we have to move ahead along the, with the industry and and wherever we find value there is a value so that way we are taking our call and moving ahead on the project to project basis okay that's interesting yeah yeah and uh bimal what what would you say about this question like what kind of um you know um, a new technologies you would want to pursue and uh, what are the hurdles you are facing Thanks, Priya. So I think, uh, you know, it's similar for the industry. The way we look at, uh, we are focusing on monopod for sure. Our mm -hmm. team is developing bifacial modules also, but uh, there are many challenges like, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Mishra and Sarvesh said, uh, like the first part, if I look at this glass uh, suddenly become a, a critical commodity. I think when module guys expanded their capacity, they never bothered to look into the backward integration. So that mm -hmm. seems a, a bit of learning uh, from that. You can expand the model is the easiest part. You can expand uh, the capacity, but if you don't have the backward supply chain, it always become a hurdle. And uh, I understood there are some uh, regulations in China which does not let the glass capacity expand, uh, you know, uh, without having some special permissions and approval. So, so it is going to take some time. It seems it's going to remain for uh, some more time, and uh, we need to see how the industry will move on. While people have made all the module manufacturers made it all claim that they have so many gigawatt of capacity. I was reading the Bloomberg Q2 list. You know, uh, they're like 95 gigawatt was with seven people. So 91 or 95. You know, J is one of them. So, so everyone was like 10 to 20 gigawatt uh, of the capacity. The big guy. So so. They might have the capacity, but they don't have the integration on the supply chain. So that's one of the big challenges we are facing. We need to see how that will happen. And uh, that might be one of the constraints for Indian projects, which is trying to pick up post COVID. So that is the first part. The second, VIS is also a big challenge. Now, people are ready to give you a better price for monopark. Most of the guys have 440, even 500 and 540. And uh, like Monsoon said, so, so they've yet to apply or they've applied the, the time period or gestation period is like close to six months or even plus. So uh, the solar itself, you know, we construct the plants uh, in six to eight months time. So if that is a period it's going to take, it means you cannot use the technology even if you want to. It means we may have to go suboptimal sometime with poly or monopark or 440, not 500 or 540. So that might be another uh, constraint or concern for the industry. The third part, uh, which you know, again, I think uh, people are missing. Uh, we uh, are talking about making India. I believe that focus should also be here to support the Indian developers as well as the Indian industry. I believe the big players should contribute more, and uh, they need to see how you know we can bring them at par. So far, our uh, personal experience, if I talk about 
the quantity and quality is not up to the mark, you know, which you want to purchase. If you talk to any Indian manufacturer, they can give you 30 or 50 megawatt a month. But when you go to China, you can get, you know, even 200 megawatt, 300, 400 megawatt a month. So, so this is a delta which you're having. So if you're talking gigawatt scale, I saw your charts, like, you know, we're talking 15 gigawatt. It means every month, you know, we are talking about one and a half gigawatt. And if you're talking good quality modules, the, the people should be able to give you few hundred megawatt. The 30 or 50 megawatt will not serve the purpose, right? So this year, that's not count, but next year, the graph is showing like, you know, 12 to 13 gigawatt and then next year again. So, so we need to look into it. So these are the challenges which industry need to come over. So Monsoon, what kind of, um, uh, you know, supply constraints are you seeing in when it comes to glass? So everybody yeah. is talking about the glass, uh, you know, uh, the uh, uh, there is a shortage of glass supply. Yeah. So yes, everybody knows during, you know, in this two or three months, the glass get short, yeah, some shortage on glass. So, yeah. you know, uh, especially the main two reasons. One is the PVA market in the, in the especially in Q3 and Q4. Is the, in this year, it's not the so no not average quantity during each month. But in Q3 and Q4, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. PV you know requirement gets much higher. So also the top artificial double glass module you know requirement gets higher. So that caused the shortage of glass. Also, uh, but we think we you know during these two weeks, I communicate with some glass manufacturer. Uh, I think in the next year it will be better, but it, it, but not it been, the glass will be not so you know uh, the, the you know the, there are some factories in Vietnam and Malaysia you get the new factories there you know this year because of the pandemic uh, you know the, the you know the capacity uh, you know the the, the new factory in the Vietnam mm -hmm. and the Malaysia you know get you know okay. uh like it so next year will be better at yes okay. i think that it's yeah it's not it's the the risk it's not a long-term issue it's about okay about coming four or five months it will get better okay 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 let's let's hope so so uh, again uh so this question is for you considering the availability is of land is quite challenging these days you know, I think uh, the newer projects um, are facing, uh, you know, extreme um, difficulties in acquiring land uh, for the project. So considering that, um, you know, there is a huge uh, availability issue and these new technologies save a lot on uh, the land, uh, you know, requirement also for the projects. Um, do you see that advantage? Are you considering that advantage, uh, you know? Um, you, we talked about uh, these uh, new technologies winning the battle of uh, price versus uh, savings. Now, what about uh, land? Is that also a consideration? Okay. Yeah. Uh, for for the land. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sir, According this is for you, sir, uh, Mr. Mishra. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah. Well said, it's uh, definitely if there is no doubt that uh, land problem, uh, the technology definitely solves the land problem. There is no doubt mm -hmm. on that. Uh, we all are uh, telling that uh, um, uh, solution for technology is giving us solution. Technology mm -hmm. is easing out our uh, issues, so the issue of land, the issue of other points. Uh, but but at the same time, everybody, uh, uh, I don't know about China and other part yeah. of the world, I, I don't know much, but uh, here, the considering the Indian market uh, sensitivity and all, again, I will repeat for the sake of repetition, there is no doubt it is helping, technology is helping for a lot of other things also, but it is ultimately, we calculate, we adopt this technology, definitely there is no doubt, it is solving the land problem also, but mm -hmm. wherever land problems are not there, again, the decision will be based on the project to project LCOE basis. The LCOE will be the ultimate things. Land means it is not only the land, it is the land and the viewers totality in, in, in totality. Land is one of the components, but it is uh, uh, for rooftops and all, there, there is a, uh, issues. 
but uh, uh, land and land component is only a one part but there are other components which have matters a lot in in this whole uh, dynamics so the, okay. we we take the so, um, you know okay sorry Sorry. So, uh, you know, uh, we talked about India being a price sensitive market, you know. So other than price, uh, what are the main criteria when it comes to, you know, procuring modules when it comes to decision making? Uh, this is for all of you, starting with you, sir. Yeah, see, other than land, price, I will say at this point that definitely everybody, all long term developer will say the long term sustainability of the whole mm -hmm. thing it is it is not the today cost it is the we are evaluating we are watching we are watching very closely watching technology otherwise we would not we would not have adopted this uh, uh, high what is technology or the new technology we would have not adopted we are watching this very closely with in, uh, in addition to lcoe the long term sustainability also is a very very pertinent mm -hmm. point technology like half cut triple cuts these technology definitely is going is giving us advantage of not only lcoe but the long term sustainability and the say lifespan mm -hmm. even degradations also so some of the technologies are claiming degradations also so the technology is helping us even to uh, thinking and assuring us a long term sustainability also there there no doubt that is also okay. a factor uh, and in addition to lcoe these are also factor so they no doubt that we okay. are going to adopt higher voltage yeah sarvesh what is your take on this so uh, basically there are other factors you know price is one component first we evaluate right. what are the basically bankability of that company how it is going to because we are taking these modules for 25 years and in, the, in in case there is issue, how I am going going to repair my warranty issues from the, the from that well, first things bankability of the company, then what kind of degradation they are offering, what kind what kind of bomb they are offering. Basically, bomb we have our in house quality team. We check the all the bombs, and if there is a customization is required, we ask for the customization. And although if all the technical front we are agreed, then only we discuss on the pricing. Pricing is the basically last thing because we have uh, we know what kind of pricing we can offer, but other parameters we have to take it from the module supplier. It is from uh, from their perspective. So you know, if, in case we are getting a cheaper module, but uh, if I am not convinced about the bankability of that uh, supplier, mm -hmm. I don't know whether he will exist after two three years or not. Then I will not yeah, consider yeah. that module supplier. So those are the major factors for where we consider uh, uh, yeah. while se selecting a module supplier. Right, Bimal, what is what about you? Yeah, so Pira, I think uh, like uh, you know, Mr. Mishra said, LCO is the key. So then you, as a developer, sign mm -hmm. the PPA, which has a fixed tariff. Your tariff is not going to change. It's not going to become you know from two point four to three rupees or five rupees. It's going to be remain consistent. I think LCO right. is the key. Now in LCOE, it captures everything. It captures, you know, when you say LCOE, it, it is not just a price. It captures your payment terms, it captures your yield, it captures your years cost. So all those factors together are going to decide. So I will just go back what I was saying, you know, poly versus mono. If today, again, the module manufacturer come and say that I will give you poly with, you know, a delta of 3 cent or 4 cent, trust me, no one is going to buy mono in India. So let's then so so the mono is driven because of two things. One, the delta between one and mono is used by the manufacturers. Second, the time to obsolete it and then what to bring it out. It's not like you know, people are going to mono, uh, they like the technology, you know, I'm not using words, you know, and, but at the end of the day, it's the, the, the money which is on the table which matters. If your LCO is going to better with poly, the developer will go with poly. Yeah, like Mr. Misha said, the long term developer, I'm not talking about the guys who will pay for this thing, but the guys who want to keep the assets for 25 years, long run, want to own, operate, they are always going to look into the quality of product, like Sarvesh was saying, uh, you know, bankability, their degradation, everything. So everything will impact on that. So uh, it is basically driven by LCO. If today, let's say Monson comes and says that I will give you Wi-Fi shell and more at the same price. 
So people will start thinking of why fish. I'm just, I'm just saying, you know. So, so it's, 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 it's very relative question. It's not like a plain vanilla. You see that I want to pick this thing. It depends on what are the market factors and dimension which will drive it. They, have, they try to reduce the delta. Why people are not able to use buy fish here? Because people made tall claims 15%, 20%, or 10% gain, but no one was able to substantiate. The bankers are not able to fund you that additional money. It was a risk which developer need to take it. Now, when the delta is becoming closer, so and again, some pilot projects have happened, or some places, you know, even the large utility scale projects have happened, the data is coming up. So people are able to rely, and, and trust me, they're not double digit number like 15% or 20% that claims used to be made by people. And again, Albedo is one of the key things which people have realized that, you know, the east side is the same product in India. Within India, we have, uh, you know, again, very big country. In Rajasthan, it will be different. In AP, it will be different. In MP, it will be different. So, so my returns will be different. So, I think uh, the LCO is the key. I, I will park it, you know, as, as SV Energy, we always focus on LCO. We look into all the credentials holistically. We don't go for the, sometimes we pay premium. We don't look into the capex number, we look into everything. So here I just want to come, come in for yeah. one minute. Yeah. yeah what the email is told. I initially in first reply I, I was tending to say I have this for the sake of repetition a little bit. Very pertinent point he also made. Said that they see the once the module size they say 500 or something like that it has increased. Why he should not why it should not disrupt the whole body market? Then you question because he is he. Ultimately, if you see the say the component, just take out BOS the module itself, glass, EVS, everything, frame, everything will come out and say 200 megawatt project or 500 megawatt project uh, module side and just calculate the bill of materials of module, uh, leave, leave aside the BOS and all and, mm -hmm. and the cost. So, so the, if the only point here again, I am for the sake of repetition, I am again re repeating here because he has made a point. But this should the why why they should not disrupt the whole market. Lord say the body market. Why not? To just decrease the some premium uh, whatever he is keeping and disrupt the whole market. Today is even the wafer, basically what is happening? Wafer supply and all is basically disrupting the poly market. The wafer supply is wafer in level like the cabinet also. So that is what is the, uh, uh, the changes. And he, he has also made a point that even says the poly as a technology, it, it is not that it will not run. It is a whole old technology, 40 years old technology. It is not a today technology. But the whole point, the whole LCOE, all these BOS costs, this, everything go together. People are thinking, but the differential is so large. Then he, he had the point. Mr. Bivan had a point. So the point is the balancing. Nobody talks about today. It's a long term, all long term developer things, long term perspective. But at the same time, it is the balancing. The balancing should, must happen. I, I was just, uh, sorry, I have taken your time. No, 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 it's okay. Yeah, you, you are here to take my time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, you, you yeah, yeah, uh, just, you know, know. just one point, you know, like, yeah. uh, you know, we are discussing. One mm. of the interesting things, if you look into what, you know, uh, Manson showed and even, Look at the efficiency is not increasing, the base size is increasing. So again, it's a slightly cheat code. I call it cheat code, but not quote unquote that way. So not but you are increasing the size of the wafer or cell, right? It's not it's, it's not the efficiency which is increasing. Even Mansoon said in his presentation, just increasing the size will not serve. I was going through some of the details of 600, 800 battery. They were like, you know, 78 cells, 210, and again, you know, with multiple. KVX. It's not like a vanilla increase in efficiency. If efficiency is not increasing. Your BOS cost is not going to increase just because of the nameplate change to 500 or 600 or 700 or 800. That's understand. So the efficiency is the key, which model manufacturers give. And if they say that 20 is becoming 20.5, so my saving is only 0.5 on the BOS. Practically, I'm not saying you know there are multiple other factors, but it's not like you know they make it 78 cell from 72 and then they say that you know i'm changing from 158 to 210 and i move from 400 to 500 watt so it, it is the will also change 
So, so we need to understand that you know there are multiple other factors which everyone need to understand while designing the plants. So, uh, Mr. Monson, do you want to add, uh, add any points there? Hey. Okay, we see. I think as a module manufacturer, the key issue is uh, well, you must think about for the custom value. So, in order to realize the custom value, you have focus on the three. I think the most three important issue. One is the cost. The cost is not only the module cost, but also the system cost. The other hand is uh, you know is uh, uh, is uh, the reliability. Or with the, we will make the make sure the module can work 25 years or 30 years. So cost, reliability. The third part you should focus on, on the efficient your energy yield performance. That brings the I will say we lower energy yield performance means uh, you know higher efficiency, also better performance on your the low light, also the te working temperature, etc. So that works the module you know get higher energy yield in the you know for the customer so so that's all three together makes the best customer value i think thank you right okay okay so, yeah so uh, um, uh moving on i i, I have a uh, you know a couple of questions so i'll start taking questions from uh, the you know the attendees so i have one question where they're asking me what are the standard module sizes expected to prevail in the future what is an acceptance of larger modules from the developers in the future? I think, uh, Monson, you can take this. What kind of standard module okay. sizes do you see in the future? Okay. Actually, it's not so easy to answer this question since you know, mm -hmm. you know, during the past two years, the, the size of the cell or the wafer is changing rapidly. So if the wafer changes, the size of the module will change. So we think uh, so that's why you know the most of the top manufacturer choose the, the size 182 wafer so we want to make the you know the module size standardized so i think uh, you know j solar and longi and jinko solar they all choose the, the this the 182 wafer so based on this wafer the size is about one saw one one three something one one three four one one three four five millimeter yes the white the white that's about the white i think the white is important for the you know for the you know for the epc since you know it's you know it's related with the rack huh? with, with, with the rack so i think it will be the standard device for of the module in the past two or three years uh, but you know, for the module lens, it's difficult to you know get stand get standardized since uh, different manufacturer maybe have they have different encapsulation technology. Some use a standard multi bus bar, and some use use a, a trailing ribbon, trailing ribbon, and some use the you know, micro gap. So the why the lens of the module it's it's difficult to get standardized. So I think the in the future. For the you know for the top company they should it's their responsibility to get the module size standardized i that's also my i hope you know, it's not only convenient for the module manufacturer but also very help convenient for the you know for the from the system side yeah that's what i think yeah, yeah. okay thank you so yeah, just um to, uh, the, uh yeah, yeah just, i think monsoon i was expecting it so what i heard in china there are two groups, you know, uh, of the leading manufacturer. One is working on 182 mm, uh, and another one is working on 210. So, so they are already they are trying to standardize the module size. I don't know how how, oh. how long it will continue uh, or how how it will work out. Yeah. Yes, frankly speaking, you know, you know, during this month, is the manufacturer with some more manufacturers we have set several meetings in order to standard get the size standardized uh, actually it's not so easy as you know since now for the next generation new product there are two kind of the you know, technology one is what i mentioned 182 the, the other is uh, 210 uh, such as trainer and uh, sunrise so for the two different Wafer size is very hard to get the 
module size standardized. But we think, I think for the 182, it's possible to get the size standardized. So finally, I think it, which product is better, it depends on the customer value. That's what I mean. If customer side accepts this as a mainstream product, it's give the best cost value through the system side. I think this uh, it's easy for the site to get standardized. That's also we are working hard to make it. Yeah, yeah. So um, you know, the, the, you know, uh, there is another question also asking. You know, land is of course a huge challenge. So by going, uh, you know, uh, by uh, changing from or jumping from 440 megawatt to 500 watt peak modules, what kind of you know um, savings that you can see on land requirement? is what they're asking okay well, you mean so the module change for the land requirement uh, yeah i'm not quite yeah i so think you, you know mm -hmm. yes yeah. so i think you know 330 to 440 is making a lot of change because it's a mm -hmm. from 40 to mono but when mm -hmm. you go from 40 uh, to mono, uh, there is a lot of uh, saving, you know, to the tune of 20 25 percent. But when you go from 440 to 500, uh, again, it's a module specific. We need to understand what the dimension of module. Again, I will go back whether you're changing the efficiency or it's just a change of size. Mm. So many of the module manufacturers are just changing the wafer size or cell size to hit 500. I think it's not like uh, most of the cases you will not gain more in case you change from 440 to 500. So we need to understand, unless it's an efficiency change, it will not be much of value add. Right, so it, okay. It's a very specific question we need to look into which monopoly you're using yeah, yeah. What, and which of 500, whether the dimension, efficiency is different or same. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, they're asking, uh, what is, uh, uh, whether India is ready for bifacial modules? And uh, what is the constraint right now to adopt bifacial modules? Both Sarvesh, Bimal, and Mr. Mishra also can ask this. So, so I think, uh, again, Priya, it's not like India is not ready to do bifacial. We, as a company, yeah. have done some tests in you know, uh, mm -hmm. of bifacial in one of our mm -hmm. sites. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's again goes back to LCO. Uh, like I said, you know, so if, if the model manufacturer are going to give bifacial at a company, Price. It should work. The only challenge which we have uh, in India compared to other markets, our BOS cost is very low. It's not a challenge that one is also. So when your BOS cost is very low, you are not gaining more when you use high efficiency or bifacial panels. But when you go to the other markets, you will gain more when you're using high efficiency panel. If your cost is 100 and in India it's 50, if you're saving 5%, you're saving 5% of 15, and they're saving 5% of 100, just to give you a perspective. So in some of the countries, we, we are the lowest in BOS across the globe. I've worked in different countries, in APAC, Middle East, Africa, US, Europe, so, so I can tell you we are the lowest in the BOS cost. And, and our cost is uh, significantly lower. It's like, you know, if my cost in India is 100, in some of the countries, this cost is 300 and 400. So, so that is a major delta, which is making the difference. And uh, people will use high efficiency panels, and that they will bring the value down by that percentage. And that percentage, they're getting, they're able to pay the premium on bifacial. And second part for bifacial is albedo. So again, if you're talking about Middle East, the Middle East is bullish on bifacial because of their better albedo. In India, Rajasthan is one of the states where you will get better albedo, but other states, again, it's a site specific. So if you're not getting a better albedo, your returns will be low. Sorry, yeah, so, you know. I just, I just wanted to add one point. I just wanted to add just two more points here. Uh, of course, uh, uh, bifacial definitely is a technology. But today, even the testing and the certification are the requirements. There is no clarity with respect to the developer perspective point of view. Mm -hmm. In the say, direct, diffused, all kind of or the filtered, mm -hmm. everything is considered as an isotropic view. 
so that we everything is basically generating energy but it's a, it's a it's a actual actually if you see the site conditions even in rajasthan also i i i i if you scan through the say one part of rajasthan to another part of rajasthan you will have n number of varieties n number of varieties you will have the, the entire entire calculation changes have or so the, that that is the one part the testing also do not support the certification is all, also not according to that so it's a big challenge for by by person to happen another point uh, uh, again uh, uh, i will emphasize it. the higher voltage is a misnomer always is is not true always so that the higher voltage is linearly to reducing the entire lcv cost never i have seen higher voltage if you see calculate all 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 parameters the say the even delta of structure we are investing delta of uh, say uh, land also we are investing because of the even size of the module itself goes and it is it goes appreciably higher so the point point here is that no there is no standardization for the size this is very important to us aspect mm -hmm. it is complicating developers or utilities uh, system design point of view and cost also the curve curve goes slightly goes down when you increase the voltage and without increasing the efficiency as uh, mr vimal also was telling there are technical reasons that the cost go, the, the advantage goes down and because of a lot of other parameters so the, the this uh, whether it is bifacial and then the other technological simply high voltage without any factual uh, increase in the efficiency part means the size of we are increasing the size we are increasing the delta we are increasing the current we are then, then the even the cable size the copper cable size also in changes even even the table size where where we can in normal we we pack 31 32 here here i i will have to pack only 28 or even even 27 the uh, one uh, one table size so the structure cost also goes up so that there are other aspect without in efficiency means the real efficiency so that also the module manufacturer before going for that and just pumping on that you okay this is the cost advantage there are a lot of other factors we calculate and then pad it up so the entire aspect is the, uh, uh, to be considered so um, service to you all yeah. Yeah, yeah, basically points what Bimal has covered. Basically, there are two aspects to buy facial. One is that what kind of delta I am paying on vis a vis mono mono facial, and what kinds of energy gains I am getting by using buy facial modules. A uh, buy facial module give you certainly will give certain higher uh, energy level yields depending on the albedo. Albedo, as he rightly said that the, uh, we have one of uh, kind of uh, in Rajasthan you will get better albedo. Uh, considering th those are the sandy sandy areas uh, where you are putting the projects but at the same time in case i my delta is higher in bifacial in that case my lcv will come down so i will not go ahead with the bifacial modules although there is generation gain but that is a cost and the second aspect what we were discussing that uh, it is not directly proportional size uh, uh, what peak versus size when we have gone ahead from poly poly efficiency was 16 17% mono mono efficiency was around 21 22% so there was significant efficiency efficiency gain that is why my bus cost reduced almost proportionately but when i am uh, say it, it's a 440 watt peak module my size is optimum size what what we have analyzed when we are moving from 440 to 495 with same efficiency i am increasing the uh, size of the uh, module and that will have challenges in installation as well as my structure column so i will not have any saving on the bus fronts so we, I, we will not prefer uh, why why to why to go at the high why higher watt peak modules when you do what you are not getting any benefit on the lcv front so uh, ultimately we are also considering by facial and we may go ahead and go ahead and we are considering seriously for one cup full project but what we if we get the value uh, on the lcv uh, terms we are getting better value then we'll go ahead else we'll take a call we'll move at mono facial only okay okay so um, since we have just uh, you know a few more minutes i just want to ask one question for all of you 
please give us your closing thoughts uh, by, by making one prediction about module technologies and what will it look like in a year. Uh, so starting from you, just, uh, you know, if you can just give um, your closing remarks on the prediction of one module technology and what is what it is going to look like in a year. Yeah, I think for yeah, the ATL. Yeah. The... yeah, sorry, uh, Monsoon, you can start. Uh, I can ask Mr. Mishra okay. later. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, please go ahead. Okay. Monson. Okay, okay, for me. So I think for India markets uh, in the next year, the best product is a buy. I folks, I insist on buy visual. I think buy visual is a very good choice for India market. Buy visual together with uh, you know, the higher power output, larger wafer size, 182 mono bifacial, 450, 4, 400, uh, 540 watts bifacial, I think the best product for India. Uh, yeah, perk, mono perk. Since the uh, N-type is now, you know, is, is relatively ex much, much more expensive at this moment, mono perk bifacial, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, Mr. Mishra, what is your prediction? You know, uh, what is your uh, uh, prediction for, and what is it going to look like in the next year? So, say, considering uh, uh, practical aspect, of what uh, as a developer we are, we have been telling time and again. I will say that yeah. definitely there is a technology change is uh, happening, and it is going to happen predominantly greater than 400 watt peak will be. A, uh, uh change big bigger change yeah and very care of very high wattage means 500 and above mm -hmm. that part or very near to 500 and definitely every developer will calculate of its own as uh, all of us uh, mentioning of their own way expressing the points uh, versus the cost advantage differential handling then the uh, real not uh, it, it's not a real efficiency it is only a, what is increase? So all those aspects, the, the savings, every aspect, we, we calculate every aspect, we evaluate and then put. It's, it's not that we are not going to have 500, around 500 more ago, what big model, it's not that we'll have. But the predominantly, maybe 400 and above will be there, maybe somewhere around 450 and all. If that suits uh, all uh, de developer, that also will take a good chunk of uh, uh, capacity. Higher voltage, people will evaluate and then put whether it is with the by 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 facial side to side consideration people will take. I suppose in the uh, time to come, I don't know about J Solar and all whether uh, uh, un, under the premises of Abhinav Bharat of India push maybe some part of the say the technology share. So these uh, mm -hmm. uh, indigenous model uh, cell uh, um, supplier also is uh, likely to take so that's uh, that's my viewpoint mm -hmm. yeah uh, sarvish uh, what would you like to say so basically uh, what one thing is certain that we are certainly moving ahead from poly to mono that is for sure most of because there is two aspects to, to it uh, okay. first is that price difference delta between mono and poly is all is reducing and that uh, for that reason, people are preferring to monofacial because it will give significant uh, saving in viewers. So monofacial people are going to use. And monopark, basically monopark, uh, say 400, 440, 4, 450 watt peak, which is as we see the optimum size as on date. In case of there is significant increase in efficiency, then people may go ahead with the higher sizes. And uh, bifacial also will will be going to use, industry is going to use for bifacial, but that will be not a significant percentage that may be five to ten percent going forward in next one year but going forward say after two years one to two years certainly people will use by because mm -hmm. uh once a delta is reducing and certainly it will reduce by using a necrology and uh, backward integration of their supply chain on glass and other things certainly the price delta will come down and energy yield by using by facial will offset the uh, price delta so people will are going to use uh, by facial right so uh, biman you would add um, you would want to add to that well i think uh, they have covered i believe uh, mono is the future the industry mm -hmm. 
That's nice to hear. Uh, thank you for all of you to have joined the, the conversation thank today. You. The discussion today it was really interesting because, uh, you know, we thank also you. wanted to break the code as to what is it that uh, India would want to, you know, um, have in the future and, um, you know, what kind of uh, new technologies can affect the Indian market or impact the Indian markets so because Indian market is very price sensitive, but um, it is also in for a lot of surprises. <laughs> So, um, you know, we have leapfrogged in the uh, uh, in many cases when it came to technology. So that could happen in the modules also. So um, that was nice to hear from all of you. And uh, thank, thank you, you, each one of you, sir, um, uh, Mr. Mishraji. Thank you very much. Thank I know you. you were very busy. Bimal Sarvesh. Finally, I have, uh, I, yeah, yes. thank you. Monsum, Finally, I have yes. something to say. Yes. So now my name is Monsum. I know that in India, Monsum is very popular. <laughs> Especially if you're in the yeah. days, people like Monsoon. Yeah. <laughs> so it's yeah. a pity this year I cannot go to India uh, during the pandemic, but I think it will be better next year. I hope I can visit India next year and have a meeting with you face to face. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's surely very happy. Thank you, Mr. Mister. Thank you, Bimal, and thank you, Mr. Manchum. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all the attendees who are still here. You know, we have a lot of attendees still, um, you know, um, and um, having a lot of questions. Uh, we could only take so many questions in the given time. And uh, you, we would be very happy to get your feedback. But uh, until the next webinar, stay safe, stay happy. And uh, thank you once again. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Goodbye. Have a good day. Goodbye. You too, all of you.